Welcome to another video. If you want to test your skill in chain rule application, this is where you can test yourself out because it will test how well you can coordinate the things you do and it will also test whether you know when to use the chain rule or when not to use the chain rule because this is full of chains. Yeah. Now, after this video, if you learn something or if you just enjoy it generally, make sure you like it, make sure you share it and leave a comment in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, please be subscribed. I need you. Let's get into the video. We have a chain of X's just stacked up as exponents like that. And we cannot apply the power rule because the power rule only works when you have numbers as the exponent. But now you have X there, so I can't do the power rule thing. So I have to find a way to differentiate this. So to make life easy for myself, I'm first going to replace all of these things here with a letter. Maybe I'm going to say U. So I'm going to say, just to start, let U be equal to x to the x to the x. Therefore, y will be equal to x to the u. One question, why am I starting from the top? You cannot start from the bottom. So should I have taken the first three as my u? That would be incorrect. You start from the stack on top and you keep chaining all the way down. Okay, it's important that you don't make your, any U substitution you do, don't divide it. You have to take a stack and then take a stack. You keep coming down. For example, two raised to power two raised to power two will be two raised to power four because you do this first. Fortunately, two raised to power four is the same thing as four raised to power. So let's do three. Three raised to power three raised to power three is equal to three raised to power 27. It is not equal, this, so 3 raised to power 3 to power 3 is not equal to 27 raised to power 3. This is not correct. So do not stack this first before stacking this. That will make your work incorrect. This is what is correct. You stack the top first before going down. Okay, so let's go back here. So you can see why I did my substitution of the top part to be my u so that y equals x to the u. Now, I want to differentiate this quickly. So, what is dy dx? dy dx is going to be, I don't know, because this is a, a function of x, it is not just a number, so I can't just do dy dx even by implicit differentiation. So, I have to bring this down first, because it's a function, so I have to apply I've taken logarithms of both sides, so I don't know what this is, but I can say that the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x to the u, so that the natural log of y is equal to u natural log of x. And now I can do my differentiation. If I differentiate this side implicitly, I'm going to get y prime over y equals, when I come here, I'll have to use the product rule, right? I'm going to have to differentiate the first and keep the second plus keep the first and differentiate the second. If I differentiate ln x, what do I get? I get 1 over x. I'm just going to write it as point times 1 over x. Okay, so it looks like I'm almost done. I can say that y prime will be equal to, because remember, this is what we're looking for, the derivative of y. So I can say that y prime is equal to, if I multiply both sides by y, I'll be multiplying this whole thing by y, will be equal to u prime ln x plus u times 1 over x, okay? And everything multiplied by y. The only thing we don't know in this answer is u prime. Right? Okay, but what did we say? U? We know u. We already said u is x to the x to the x. And um, we know y because y was the original question. The only thing missing is u prime. Now we need to go here 
and where is it? Where is you? We have to find you prime from here. So now let's find the derivative of u. Remember, everything is with, with respect to x. So recall that u equals x to the x to the x. This is hard for me to do, so I'm going to say let, let's do t be equal to x to the x so that u is equal to x to the t. Remember, you stack from the top again, and we can take the natural log of both sides. ln of u will be equal to t times ln of x, if you take the natural log of both sides. Let's get rid of this. So now I need to do the derivative thing again. If I take the derivative of both sides, I'm going to have u prime over u will be equal to, I need to apply the product rule again, just like we did here. So we're going to have, we're going to differentiate the first t prime and keep the second. If we keep the second, it's ln x. Plus, we're going to keep the first t and differentiate the second, which is 1 over x, times 1 over x, again. And we're done, so we can say that u prime is equal to t prime ln x plus t times 1 over x. I'm going to leave it that way, 1 over x is equal times all multiplied by u. So this is my u prime looks very similar to y prime, right? It's just that we're going down and going down and going down. Okay, we know what t is. t is this guy. And we know what u is. u is this guy. The only thing we don't know is t prime. Now, remember that this u prime is supposed to be sitting here. We're still going to go plug this in here. And then uh, we're going to see how it turns out and do the derivative of t. We also know that t is equal to, where is it? x to the x. Ah, I can just take the natural log of both sides. So I know that ln of t will be x ln of x. If I differentiate this, it's going to be t prime over t, which is equal to, applying the rule, differentiate the first, I'll get 1 times ln x plus keep the first differentiate the second times 1 over x well clearly it looks like my t prime is equal to ln of x this is going to give me 1 and then I'm going to multiply by t so now we need to do a lot of plug-in and factoring and that's all it's not as crazy right so, let's write this the way it's supposed to be. We know that t prime will be equal to, this t is x to the x. So, we can write this as x, let's write it well, x to the x of ln x plus 1. We're done. Now, we've got to write u prime, which is this. And u prime is t prime times ln x, which is this times ln x, right? So if we multiply this by ln x, the ln x can come in here and multiply this. It gives us ln squared x plus ln x, okay? And there's this u sitting outside. Let's bring this forward. Remember, u is x to the x to the x. So we can write this as x to the x to the x. That's the first part. Multiplied by t prime times ln x will be x to the x this one, and then inside is going to be ln squared x plus ln x. Now what is here is t times 1 over x. What is t again? t is x to the x. So it's going to be plus x to the x times 1 over x. Okay. Why am I not multiplying? I don't want to. I'm going to leave it this way. Ah. <sighs> You know what? I want to distribute this in, because I don't know what's going to happen. I want to distribute. Should I distribute? Yeah, to avoid confusion, I'm going to multiply this term by this, by x to the x to the x, and also multiply this by x to the x to the x. So see what I'm going to have. I'm going to have 
this. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing here. So I'm going to have x to the x to the x times this times this. So it's going to be a stack of three things. So it's going to be x to the x to the x times x to the x times 1 over x. Okay. Here we go. Now, do I want to factor the common things? For now, let's just leave it. This is our u prime. Now, we need one more step. We need to go back to the beginning. y prime is u prime times ln x. And that's the only thing we need to do. Everything else is set. We just need to take this and put it here. But look at what's happening to u prime here. The only thing happening to u prime here is that it's being multiplied by ln x. So let's try to multiply this by ln x. Let's evaluate u prime ln x will be equal to this times ln x. And when you multiply by ln x, you can bring in the ln x to multiply this. It's going to be x to the x to the x, x to the x. And then this would be equal to ln cubed x plus ln squared x plus, this one will take one ln x to x to the x to the x, x to the x times, I'm going to put the 1 over x on the other side, and we're going to have, no, let's write it here, 1 over x, and then we're going to write ln x. This is this term here. So we just computed this. So my final answer is basically this plus this and everything multiplied by y. Final answer. I need space for that. Ah, where do I write it? <laughs> okay, I'm going to come back here and write my answer. I changed my mind. I'm going to try to write y prime here. So we're going to have y prime will be equal to this expression, which is this, which is going to be um, x to the x to the x times x to the x. You have ln cubed of x plus ln squared of x plus x to the x to the x, x to the x times 1 over x, ln x, so this is this, plus what we have here is going to be x to the x to the x times 1 over x. And everything is multiplied by x to the x to the x to the x. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Now, this is the final stage. I just need to factor as many things as possible. I'm going to start with this in my final answer here. That's what I was planning to do. So y prime is going to be, since this is multiplying everything, I'm going to write x to the x to the x to the x as the first thing. Now, every term I have, there are three terms, one, two, and three. And every term I have appears to have x to the x to the x. So I'm pulling it out. So this is going to be x to the x to the x. Nice. So I've taken care of this and this one. So now I need to take care of this. The first term has x to the x. The second term has to x to the x, but the third one does not. So let me factor out x to the x from the first two terms now. So what I have left is going to be x to the x. Now watch this. What I have left here will be this plus this. But this doesn't have it unless I want to make it have it, and I will make it have it. So this is going to be ln cubed of x plus ln squared of x. I'm done with these two. And then I have this um, 1 over x ln x plus let me write it as ln x over x. Ah, so there's one more term left. 
because this is the only guy here, one over X. How can I make it have this also? Well, remember that when you factor something, so this is, you mean it means you're dividing it by whatever you factored out. Look at this, 2X plus 6. If you factor out 2, what you're really doing is dividing each of the terms by 2. So this is X. So if I want this guy also, the last guy, to have X to the X, I'm going to divide X, 1 over X, by X to the X which is the same thing as x to the negative 1 divided by x to the x. What would that mean? That would mean x to the negative 1 minus 1, which is x to the negative x, plus, sorry, minus x, plus x, plus 1. Come on. This is what I have. So that's it. I'm going to write this as plus x to the negative let me just write x minus 1, like that. And this is the derivative. Ah. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.